Hello, welcome, welcome back to another GRS. It's Friday night, it's uh, just gone half eight. Hope everyone's well. Um, just opening my bottle of Budweiser. In fact, let me just make sure. I've just come off that watch page. Otherwise we get a really bad echo. I think we should be all right. Um, as usual, I'll just wait for my first comment to come in, otherwise, talking to myself, I wanna. So just let me know if the sound's okay. Been having a few issues, actually. The uh, EverDrive wouldn't work earlier on. About, well, 10 minutes ago it wouldn't work. LFC Gamer, good evening. Uh, tell me, Mr. LFC Gamer, is everything okay with the sound? Hopefully it is. Yeah, I've been messing around with my uh, my old Mega Drive. Uh, if you watched my previous video of the uh, Sega Pixel Art, I mentioned about uh, the Overdrive a one-off uh, Galaxy Sega, and uh, I've been messing around with my original modified Mega Drive, which has got overclock on, and it plays really well with Sonic Mega Mix, which is like a homebrew game, and I've noticed that. Um, the, the new Mega Drive won't run it as well as the Overclock one. So I've, that's what I'm using now, I'm using my original Overclock one. And uh, plug me Overdrive in about 10 minutes ago and it wouldn't work. Just got a blue screen, couldn't work it out, stripped it down, took the SD card out, tried all that. Tried blowing in the old cartridge, won't work. And in the end I realised that I had it in 14 megahertz Overclock mode. So put it back to normal and it works great as you can see. So we've got True Marvelous, Sean, evening Sean, how the devil are you? Hope everyone's had a nice week at work. All okay here, so must be talking about sound. And uh hey the Andy's here, evening Andy. How the devil are we? Tim? Tim? Tim bad fuck up. Right, so, cooking with gas. So last week I did a bit of a shout out um, for another tuber. Um, I've got his name now. <laughs> um, Macintosh, wasn't it? Lucas Macintosh. So you have to check out last week's GRS. And um, yeah, I've got, I've got a few people lined up. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a um, bit of a shout out um, group, um, pick pick three games. Get the person, get the uh, the YouTubing channel to pick three games. So this week we've got Ben at uh, from the uh, Mongoose on the unicycle. Fantastic name, Ben. I've got to say it's uh, very catchy. So if you've read the description below, you'll uh, um, featuring Mongoose on a unicycle. Fortunately, there's no mongoose here. Or is that mongoose? There's no mongoose up here. There's just little Frank behind, who's tucked up in my dressing gown. He's tired. So, uh, Johnny R, how are you, mate? Uh, true marvelous, sub to Lucas. Nice, nice, some nice playthroughs. Yeah, he does uh, some really good playthroughs. So, excuse me, Wendy Pops. So anyway, uh, Ben has picked three games. So check out the description below, I imagine. So his first game is on the Mega Drive. So let's, let's find it. It's a Disney game. And have we got it? Oh dear. What was that gone then? My eyes deceiving me. I'm looking for Aladdin on the Mega Drive. And it looks as though my my ROMs, my ROM set, doesn't have it on. Which is a bit weird. I'm sure I've played it before. 
I have got it on um, original cartridge. No, Rob, we're not playing Sonic 2. Not tonight. That's for another stream. Um, I'm going to um, I'm going to get the uh, original cartridge. Here we go. Original. Apologies for the glare. Original Aladdin. Bear with me. Right, okay, there it is. Try that. Never works, does it? This is uh, one of the reasons, I might add, why I've got an Everdrive, because you can just leave the cartridge in the Mega Drive, and eight times out of ten, it works. And that's not working. Genuine hardware, genuine problems. <laughs> Get a good blow. If this doesn't work, we'll, uh, we'll have to come back, I think, on that one. Let me just try something else. It should work. No, it's not working, is it? So let's go back to the old Everdrive. If that works. Right, okay. All we go cleaning those contacts. So, second game. Also on the Mega Drive. Oh, uh, apologies, Ben, for that. Let me find it. Earthworm Jim. Now, which one's going to work? Um, we'll go with that one. Let's try that. Might be under D for Disney's Aladdin. Do you know what, Sean? You could be right, because I'm sure I've seen it. Let's have a look. <laughs> Good man. Good man. It's there, look. Disney's Aladdin. All along. Right. Try this, could have been a sound. I'm just gonna go bugger all. Hopefully, it won't interfere with the microphone. Let's move that a bit closer to me. Right then, difficulty. I will uh, look on practice, shall we? I've not played this in a few years. Music can sound test triggers are sword, throw, jump. Yeah, we'll keep with that. Let's start. Here we go. You can never go wrong with a Disney game. Now, wh which is the better version? The uh, the Mega Drive or the uh, SNES? That's a question for you, isn't it? Nice to see we're playing in... 60 hertz. The only way to play. Full screen. Full speed. That's what I'm talking about. My apple. Up there. Oh. Jump on, jump. Right, so I think we'll leave that. Yeah, really good. 
game less. So anyway, I hope you all tuned into last week's TNT. The Northern Tubers. Quite a good turnout. I like that. And uh, it's a bit of a group channel. Can I climb up that? Looks like a camera, I can't. Mount hot coals. Those apples. That. Falling platforms. Not really ready for that. So there we go. Can't be a bit of Disney platforming action. Talking, it's because I'm uh, concentrating quite a bit. See, if this was Sonic 2, I could be chatting away. Easy as hell. But because it's a game I've not played for a long time. Complete! Easy. Easy when you know how. Right, okay. Blues. Obviously, uh, the late, great Robin Williams. Play the genie. Right, let me just pause that a second. And I will just have a quick browse through the, uh, the comments, see who's arrived. So we've got AB Andy Hug, um, Retro Heaven, Johnny, good evening, Johnny. Um, Johnny, how are you? The math system is cool for uh, dodgy aerial tested. Right, okay. Looks like he's picked up a, a math system. Ah, evening, Dave. Hola. Check this out, yeah. By all means, Dave. By all means, uh, Gary's here. I said only 150. Oh, because there's no other game on the system called Aladdin. Yeah, it looks like Sean cleared that was up, cleared that up for us. It's uh, Disney's Aladdin. I can show you the world. I'm not going to sing, I'm not singing. Apparently, the says I can't talk tonight. The SNES version is meant to be worse. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that. Mega Drive version is better, of course. LFC game, I prefer the Mega Drive version of Aladdin, but the SNES version is still great. Hey, is if you're playing Fantasia on Mega Drive, worst Disney game on it by far. Yeah, I do remember playing Fantasia back in the day, and the film was dire as well. And I'll try this on the Amiga. God, no. Fantasia was still shite. I remember buying Fantasia from you guys. Hard as nails, that game. TNT, that's right, the Northern Tubers. Takeover. Graphically, the game looks really good. Lion King, Lion King is brutal as well. The first stage, easiest pie. Second one with bloody monkeys and giraffes. Horrendous, horrendous game. But very nice to look at. Right, it won't let me go down anymore. 
If I beat Lion King, it's too hard. I think there's a level in Lion King, like a stampede level. Which takes me down. We're chatting about Toy Story. More Disney games. 16-bit Elton. Mickey Mania. I had Mickey Mania on the uh, Mega CD. Looks like Rob's off. Battery's going. Right, then we'll crack on. Those apples. Oh, some bloody tusks or something coming out of it. Worm. Yeah, I mean, it looks really nice. So I'm playing this on my CRT. I can appreciate full scan lines, full 60 hertz. You guys have got to deal with. Uh, Probably watching it on either your phone or your your laptop. Um, why is that? That lamp, Jeannie's lamp, flashing. Oh God! Come on, come up there. That's what I want. Here we go. Aha! Right, we've sorted that out. Down here. Oh God. Check him out. Oh, got me. What that monkey called now? Nah, a boo. You want a poo, or it? That's a poo off Simpsons. Okay, I've got our apples or not. Flying. Right. So it looks like we're a few. Uh, Bad guys hiding. Take a few shot these. Uh, come on. Oh, what are, you, what are you doing? Oh dear. Right. Not messing about now. Messing about. Here we go. Jump on the bloody camel. Take a few shots to kill him. He's dead. Same again, we him. Look at that on the washing line. We've got a Mickey hat. Mickey hat. Aladdin's face must be like a save point. Okay, gotta go up here again. Come on, gear. You're enticing me down. Look at him taunting Michael. Stood there with a the pull cue, taunting Michael. So I'm just uh I'm gonna sword fight. I can fight him through the wall, but I can't get through. Right. That please, thank you.
Yeah, that bit about uh, taunting Michael, I'm referring to the old uh, Genesis advert, if you've seen it. Some, uh, shit. Some uh, news reporter were talking about, uh, I think they had a Mega Drive in the SNES. And uh, there's some bloke on from Sega. I'm sure you've seen it. And um, they're talking about uh, Moonwalker. It's so funny to watch. Just saying about the. Uh, can I get that? Yeah, I can. Talking about the graphics and uh, the way the bad guys look really real. And this um, bad guy stood outside the pool table. This bloke from Sega's going, look, look at him. Look at the bad guy there. He's almost taunting Michael as he walks towards him. Really funny. Bloody lamb. Try not to get beheaded there. <gasps> Cheeky. Cheeky. Right, so another go. Bang! Lose again. Unbelievable. Well done, Street Rat. The second half of Scarab is in it. Thief. Acrobat. Acrobat rooftops. Right, let's just pause it there and check out the uh, old comments. Yeah, loads. Millions. What pound gets you repaired? Let's see, what's this? Mickey Mania. Uh, Andy, I've always wanted some multi mega. Steep nowadays. Yep, mine costs 140, 140 pound. Yeah, the multi mega. I remember they were selling those cheap. They were selling them cheap in uh, Wars. Late nineties, and uh, for some reason I didn't buy one. I love see Game Aladdin was one of my very first games. Did this game in mind still has one percent work in a CD it takes about six attempts before it loads, but for that a game is loaded straight away. My multi mega is on is in all honesty for collecting purposes. Animation in this game is great, it is Andy, it's really really nice game to look at. LFC game I've recently replaced my Dreamcast. I want to stop working all together. Yeah, my Dreamcast is very noisy. I need to watch a video about how to uh, lube up the runners. And I'm um, after a 32x as well. Never one, never played one back in the day. Andy, I've still got mine. Not my original one, but I have bought one. I just need to get some leads. Uh, Dave, what's that? If you go into idle. Animation pose under that Mickey. If you time it right, you go through your life. Top tips there from Gary. I'm scared of my consoles breaking. They're getting so old now. Yeah, that's another thing, isn't it, with retro games consoles? Worried about uh, things breaking. Dave's game room. Blah blah blah. Moonwalker is hilarious. 
Oh yeah, the Genesis Computer Chronicles episode. Ah, uh, so Dave, you have seen it. Look at him taunting Michael. Sorry, I just I say it all the time. <laughs> so you think Moonwalk is one of the best games about a musician out there? It probably is. Streets of Rage on the Game Gear. Right, so loads and loads of comments. Excellent turnout. So far, Ben's not made it. I, I did tell him half eight, so no doubt it will be along. Mongoose on a unicycle. Ah, Frederick's here. Evening, Frederick. Speaking of uh, old consoles, my PC Engine briefcase, that's suffering with loading issues. Now I've been speaking with uh, Frederick about it. I'm going to try, try and get hold of a Try and get hold of a uh, a proper PC Engine game, CD game, because my game is only on only on silver discs. So I want to get hold of a proper game. Come on, that's it. and see if that improves the loading. They do eventually load, but they, they take forever. I think when my lamp's flashing. Is that when I'm about to die? I don't know. God. Let's get up there. Right. Okay. Here we go. Ah. Ah, I can slide down the poles. Right, I'm with the. There we go. Right, can I get rid of him? No, it's just. Oh, that's quite good. I'm chucking the apple and he's actually slicing it with his knife, with his sword. Very good. Get over there. Three. Oh dear me! Find the flutes. Find the flutes. Right. Need to concentrate now. So that's one there. All oh, right, musical notes. Total we'll giveaway, isn't it? Go. Go on there. Get that gem. Get that. Oh, we're running out of bloody apples again. Going good. Flashing again. No. There we go. We need some. Uh, we need some fruit. Sword there. It's testing me this. I think that's the thing though with Disney games. 
They were a bit, a bit difficult. And going back to the Lion King. That was solid, that. It really was. Right, watch that. There we go. Oh, you bastard. Got a life. We've missed one there. Oh, go, okay, we survived that. I didn't have died. Can't get around. Can't get around there at all. Stuck. Ah, right, I can uh, break those pots. Great level, this. Takes a bit of learning. I'm about to die again. in the back. It's not going to start me again, is it, from the start? Oh, it's not. Find the flows. Trying, trying. Right. There we go. Bastard. There we go. up here, chucking his bloody swords at me. Get the gems, avoid him. Flashing again, it's not good. I'm not, I'm not get that there. Ah, did I get up there? Instead. How do you like those apples? Yes, life. Right, can't get around there. Need to go up here. Jump. Need parrot. Oh, 
can't break that. What's this? What's this geezer? Oh, you bastard. Oh, took me down. I never said I were any good at retro games. I must stress that. Just enjoy playing them. That's all. Right, start again now. Problem with me, I'm too impatient. I do enjoy platform games. But I just like to steam through it. I think that's why I enjoy Sonic so much. I'm gonna die in a minute. Oh, he's picking mincemeat. Well that extra life now. Oh! Cheap shot. Right, let's have a read of the old comments. Ah, Steve's here. A dear sneak freak. Danny Dogmouth, evening all. Love this on the snow. It looks so lovely. Um, yeah, we're talking about uh, Dreamcast. Get Rondo of Blood. Get Rondo of Blood. I've got that for the um, PC Engine. Not that it works. Not that it loads. Lee's in the house. Evening, Lee. The lamp is your life, Barbaros. Yeah. I did eventually work that out. It just took me ages. I mean, I've got the bloody original book uh, manual in front of me so I should really read the instructions yeah the smoke shall life come on go down a bit more I was just about to say the volcano volcano level is the worst so what's difficult but he is quack shot great game great game Right, let's try something. Um, let's try another one of Ben's picks. Let's go back to the menu. Let me just check my phone, actually. Let me have a look. Little like a bloody Christmas tree it is. Just talk amongst yourselves. Just don't mind me. Being all the ignorant and uh, checking my phone. Tweets and bloody messages go off. But a few issues with people not being able to comment. Oh, looks like I've been. Um, I've been synced to a live stream. Is that right, Andy? Reframe gaming? Don't really know what's going on there. Don't really know. Far too much going off. Uh, yeah. What's ID for? Independence Day, isn't it? Right then, I'm baffling, I'm, I'm rambling on. So, uh, Ben's second game, or first game, I'm not sure where we are now, from uh, Mongoose on a Unicycle is the incredible Earthworm Jim. Where are we? Earthworm Jim. There we go. Now, I had Earthworm Jim Special Edition on the Mega CD. 
and I sold it. I had Mickey Mania, I had Sonic CD, I had quite a few games. It's got options. Whip fire jump. Okay. Up to me. Yeah, and I sold them. And uh, I've got the Sonic CD back. I think it's my third version. I do remember when this came out. Quite a bit of hype about the game. But I didn't actually play it until I got the Mega CD version. Yeah, I didn't go out and buy it on the Mega Drive. I think it came out. Did it come out quite late for the Mega Drive? I can't really remember. I think about 94. Something like that. I've been watching Games Master. Just finished season one of Games Master. It's uh, Dave Perry. I'm shiny. Now he's the man behind it. He's always on Games Master. Bloody crows. Right, that. Oh, look at there. Right, it's on that. Yeah, and uh, even when I had it on the Mega CD, I didn't play that much of it. It's a fantastic looking game. It really is. Like I can shoot the beaks off. Right. Can I get these bells? No. Die, crow, die! I'm supposed to whip that continue. We're all right up here. Oh, get off me! Get off me! Holy crow! Been low on ammo. To get the old uh, earthworm out. Army suit. Junkyard dog. Oh. Nearly out. Nearly out of uh, our ammo. Jesus. Right, I think I've got it. There we go. I remember now. Right, okay, got some bullets. Take that. So, do you guys remember playing um, Earthworm Jim? Right. Let me try and keep up with these comments. Because they're coming in thick and fast, guys. They really are. Australis. Where the devil are we? Great game it is. Graphically, again, this game looks brilliant on the Mega Drive. Infamous Dave Perry. Remember the Mario 64 scandal? I don't, Dave, now. Please tell me. Never liked FOMG. I love the graphics, but the gameplay never did it for me. This game did indeed come out in 1994. Oh, good memory. Dave Perry worked on Aladdin. Yeah, I remember that. Dave Perry reckons he was stitched up by Diamond with a Mario 64. Dominic Diamond. Not yet got to that episode. Perry came across as a bit of a tip, didn't he? 
Yeah, Russ, uh, what's the more modern systems you play? The most modern system I play up here is Dreamcast. Oh, I've got a PS Vita downstairs. Uh, I'm going to see how much this costs for the SNES now on eBay. You might look for a Mega CD version of this. Good luck with that, Dave. They go for a bomb. So funny after they gave the joystick. Oh, I can't read the comment. Um, Alex here. Let's move MJ. What are we saying about golden joystick? So funny after they gave the joystick to do, Perry looked seriously pissed. What season was this? I've, uh, I've not got up the, to this yet. Perry was pissed. It was hilarious to watch. No TNT stream tonight then. No, no TNT tonight. We are busy planning the next one. It's all good. Rice stars, the best looking graphics on the Mega Drive. Again, Rice Star. I remember going into uh, W. H. Smith, and um, it must have been Sega, Sega magazine. And uh, on the front cover, it just said, Sonic is dead. Long live a new hero or something. And just a big picture of Rystar. I think, you know, what do you mean Sonic's dead? They killed him off. I was gutted, absolutely gutted. Warning. Oh, no. Remember this. Kicks my ass. to do oh give me some tips give me some tips I'll wait for some tips I've got a thousand bullets 100% life so give me some tips how do I kill him I'm useless at games Useless, absolutely useless. Do you like the Sonic Adventure games, Russ? I didn't have a Dreamcast back in the day, but I do remember going round to a mate's house and he had a Dreamcast. And I played Sonic Adventure. And, well, actually, I watched him play Sonic Adventure and it looked fantastic, really good. And then when I tried to play it, I just couldn't get on with it. And um, I then realised that Sonic Classic Sonic, 2D Sonic is the one for me. And it still is. It still is. I bought a 360 the other year, a few years ago now, purely for Sonic Generations. And, um, yeah, I thought, yeah, I'll get myself a 360 and we played a bit of Forza. Don't know what I'm supposed to do here. So avoid. That land on him. Oh, don't get near him. Come here, bastard. Just a whip it. Across to him. Now. Can't be that hard, surely. Am I just that crap? <laughs> Hit that. No. Come on, guys, I need some uh, tips. <laughs> Fast. I'm dying. Really, I'm dying. Prefer the 2D Sonics, however, love adventure. Shoot his body from a distance. Shoot the fucker, Russ. Shoot the fucker. Right. I can do that. Don't seem to. Chuck's probably anvils on me then. Fast. 
can't be this hard, sure. Oh, and again, raining bombs, raining bombs, it's got me in corner, it's got me on the ropes. Twenty percent health. Ten percent. Take off and nuke it from orbit. Only way to be sure. Is that it? I'll just shoot him. Because he's kicking my ass. Shame it turns to bloody frame. Get out of here, twat. Yeah, Sean, it, it looks great. It looks brilliant, but never really liked it. Haymakers. Oh God. Quick, give him that. Oh, especially when he gets you in that bloody corn. Look at him there. That's never right. Absolutely never right. Get out of it. Go on. Looks like I can't even get past first level over from Jim. That uppercut is brutal. Not bloody take back one. Now, ain't happening. Ain't happening. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's why I probably sold her for him, Jim. Looks like I've saved it. Right, what's uh, Ben's third game? Here we go. Bit of master system action. What are we doing here? No, I don't want her for him, Jim. Back to menu. Sega master system. Or it, I forgot now. There we go. Yeah, I just can't do it. It was killing me. Hey, oh, Pete, you alright? Just uh, failing badly on Earthworm Jim. Really badly. Double Dragon on the Sega Master System. Ah, is that playing snooker? Ah, I mean, I mean, Andrew talked about snooker earlier on. That guy's harder than the first real boss. I just couldn't do it. No, oh, it's not working. Oh. Oh. Never goes well, does it, when you want it to go well? Let me just try. Might not like 60 hertz. There we go. Right. Sega Master System. Never works right with Master System. It's weird. Sega Master System. 
double dragon. Select and start. No, damn you, overdrive. Damn you. And Ben's not even here to uh, <laughs> where did you download, download your ROMs from? I don't really want to say yet, uh, Malk. Don't really want to say. Because I think the chap is actually watching the stream. Awkward. Right. It says no, it does say no. So anyway, that was two out of three. Uh, Ben's uh, picks tonight um, Mongoose on a unicycle Go and check out his stream His stream, his channel Streets of Rage What on the Master System, yeah, why not Let's have a go I don't think I've ever played Streets of Rage on the Master System. The city was once right. You watch that. I'm gonna give me some of Budweiser. Thank you. What we're we doing? You go in. Sit on my knee. Hold on. We've got a special guest. We have a special guest in the house. Come on, round here. Fifteen beer balls. Come on. Oh, we go. Oh, we go. Right then. Can we see? Favorite, favorite dog. He's tired. Frank is in the house. I normally um, wrap him up in my dressing gown. Get this here. Never played. Any grunting noises is from Frank. Right. Okay. I'm gonna play as normal. I'm going to play as Axel. Oh, yeah, I've never played Streets of Rage on the Master System. So this is totally new for me. Okay, it looks... It looks weird. How do you guys rate Streets of Rage? Frank, you're making some noises. A lot of noise. Oh, got me. Oh, streets are age, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Trying to work. Uh, oh, he's going to slide me. Okay, I should really be uh, trying to play her over then. Oh, you bloody bugger. There you go, turn that knee to your face. I'm not shouting at you, Frank. I'm shouting at this bloke on the streets of rage, Apple. It's weird, I mean, you obviously know it's streets of rage. It's just 8 bit. It's not actually that bad, actually. The sprites are a little bit small. Take some beating, that's all. Taking a beating there. Oh. I always remember on um, when I used to play Streets of Rage, I had it on the uh, Mega CD arcade collections. 
and uh, I always used to think these guys here used to look like turtles. Did ninja speed her in? Yes, get that down. Bad them up. Come on, come on, Mr. Ninja. One and off. Come here. Come on. Frank, I'm looking at the screen. Frank thinks I'm I'm gonna go with him. Yeah. God, he took some beating there, didn't he? Right. Oh. Tag team. Tag team, here we go. Yes, that's how you do it. You throw them, throw them over yourself. Bang. Did the, did the release streets reach two on them? They did, didn't they? Serious release two. That'd be interesting to see. I mean, on the Mega Drive version, the sprites are huge. Why is it that 8-bit games are always harder? Why is that, Andy? Coming from a, a NES point of view, 8-bit games were solid compared to 16-bit. Uh, In my opinion, of course. Come on. Yeah, oh, that was quite good. Looks we've got the uh, the car if we press ABC. Mind you, it's, uh, if it's Master System, there's only two buttons, isn't there? Right. Check them out. Oh, too slow. Knee to the face. Again. Again, and again. Frank settling in. He tired. We've been up to today. Not much. Is this boss? Come here. Hit that. Hit that. Oh dear me, is he dead? He's dead. Round one clear. Right. So it looks like it's uh oh, there's no star, is there? No pause. Right. Let's see what I'm doing. What are we going about here? Two crude dudes. Frank is gorgeous. So many comments. I can't keep up. Wonderboy 3. Get the full. T-O-S-E, set from there and you could. I'm going to have to read these comments back. Good old Frank, the sound of the shell. Menu. I want to play Streets of Rage 2. Let's play this a little bit more. Oh, 
that's it. Right, you get comfy. Are you getting comfy? Oh! It's just a little bit slow. It just seems a little bit slow. Yes! So you do it. Look at the old screenshot going. Don't really know what I'm doing. Being whipped, it's not what's happening. A ball. I'm gonna throw that. I think actually. I know in Streets Rage 2, get that. you can uh, hit behind. I didn't know you could do that in the first one. So that's the same as Mega Drive version. Streets of Rage. Extra Life, I recognise that. Turtles out. Take them out. It's a good job you guys are talking amongst yourselves because it's hard as hell trying to keep up with comments. Project Gotham Racing. Well, on the um, Dreamcast or Xbox, original Xbox. Want to um, call something else? I will play just play retro game from the 8-bit to 32-bit era for the rest of my days. I want a bit of N64. Dreamcast and PS2. Well, that's what that's what basically I do, Dave. Really, on these bloody guys. But... Me and up here, the newest thing I've got is a Dreamcast, and uh, I've only bought that recently since I've set up the old games room. Yeah, I thought about getting a PS4 and Xbox One, but I don't know if I'd get the full benefit from it. I really don't. I mean, I, I'm not a fan of first person shooters. I say I'm not a fan, I just, every time I try and play them, it just seems to me like there's too many buttons. I mean, any more than two buttons and I'm struggling anyway with retro. God, he's kicking my ass in, knife. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, modern games, they look stunning. But for me, it's not all about the graphics. Playability. And the other thing is, there's so many retro games I've not played. I mean, I've never played this before. Streets of Rage or the Master System. Never played it. Who would have thought? The library of retro games is just untouched. And I've not got a massive collection of games. But having the Ever Drive for the Mega Drive, Ever Drive for the uh, boss time, PC Engine. You know what I mean, I've got more than enough games. I've got enough. So I've got him here, I don't know, I've got him. Got him against the ropes here, he's going down. Boom! That's how you do it, bro. Oh, Jesus Christ. Didn't like that, did he? Oh, he's lashing out, lashing out. Frankie's looking at me gone out. Boom, we took him down there, Frankie. Took him down. Yeah, what were I saying? Yeah. I've just got loads of retro games. Systems. And I love at the minute just playing 
Um, arcade shooters. My favourite shooter on the Sega Saturn is Don Pache. In fact, it's probably Do Don Pache. Although I do like playing Do Don Pache Resurrection on the 360. That is just mental. And uh, that's another system I've recently got into. So that's a question for you then, guys. All you guys are YouTube channels. And most of you watching have got YouTube channels. What influence has having your own YouTube channel had on your collection? As as in hardware. What hardware have you bought? That's my ass. Since having a YouTube channel. So I'll go first. So since having a YouTube channel, I've gone out and bought myself a SNES. Never had a SNES back in the day. <laughs> Sega fan, as you know. Bought, bought myself a SNES, bought myself a Dreamcast. Uh, I'm on my second Dreamcast actually, and the first one was just a standard white one. I've got my blue one with blue casing. Bought myself a PS2. I mean, I, I did have a PS2 back in the day, but I wanted one back in the day. I wanted one. So, I suppose you can't really count that. Um, Sega Saturn, Japanese, definitely. YouTube, definitely. Um, likewise with the PC Engine. I mean, I, mean I'm, I remember reading about the PC Engine in uh, back at Games Master. I always used to think it was bloody just a PC. I, I just thought it was a posh name for a, a PC. Um, so yeah, that's definitely uh, inspired me. And I've still got another retro system on the way, if it ever turns up. Also inspired by YouTube, although I did nearly buy it back in the day. One of the first ones I played on at my cousin's house, so it has got nostalgic links. So guys, what are your... What retro systems or what hardware have you bought? Influenced through a YouTube channel, having your own YouTube channel. Discuss. Tell me. Oh my god. It's loads. Loads of answers. Right, let me try and keep up. Oh, it's no pause. Dave said, Nez fan become Super Snares. Super Nez, uh, Super Fun, Master System, Model 1, Master System. Trying to fight and read at the same time. All of, the, all of these things to my channel. Amiga 1200, the Commodore 64. No, and I sold it all. Interesting, Sean. Emulation, MAME, or modern gaming? Which route did you take? Original Xbox, PS2. I mean, I know there's been a few videos about the um, the good points and bad points, let's just say, about YouTube. And how it influences you in what you buy. I would say mine's pretty all positive. I mean, the least played system I've got in my collection is the SNES, sadly. Which is a shame, really, because it's very similar to the Mega Drive. 16 bit and all. And it's in lovely condition. There's no yellowing. Just looking at it now, it looks brilliant. But, um, yeah, it's, it's something I don't don't really play. It's uh, My go to system is the Mega Drive. Second is probably the Saturn. Um, and third is probably a toss up between the. Dreamcast and PS2. Look in there, look at this guy. Ultimate Warrior, every time. Take that. Oh, you bastard, took me down. Died on the beach. Dave's doing a video on um, emulation versus real hardware again, guys. The one I originally did with Mike was rushed. Yeah, so go and check out Mike's. Uh, 
channel. Dave's Game Room. Very good. Watching Dave for some time now. Really nice chap. Take that. And he's uh, he's helped me out recently. Dave, you will be featured in a form of a shout out in a video. If the uh, just kick him out. Get out of the way if the said hardware ever arrives. Boom! Look at that. Shook the screen there. He's down. He's down. He's down, Frankie. GameCube looks so much better on CRT than on my HDTV. Yeah, I think we've. Um, I've always said it. With retro games, you've got to play them on retro TVs. I mean, don't get me wrong. I can understand why people use modern TVs because nobody wants a a big ugly CRT massive back TV sat in the living room or in the corner of the living room. But if you've got a B&O like myself, they're very slim, very slim. You've got to play them in 4 b 3 It's alright having these uh, LED TVs, but if you're playing Sonic 2 stretched to 16 by 9 a nice big 50 inch LED LCD plasma 4K 3D whatever it is I mean you want to play that you want to play Sonic 2 like that back in the day like that would you you would have played it on your little 14 maybe a 21 inch if you if you've got a bit of money and that's what I don't know I suppose it's everyone's opinion isn't it really I mean, I had a 32-inch Trinitron at the mum and dad's, and it was knackered. It used to, it used to struggle turning itself on and off. Um, and I just googled. This is one of the main reasons why I got into YouTube. Actually, I just googled um, best best way of playing retro games or something like that. Anyway, and um, so I were all set to buy an LCD. I must admit, but if I'm moving into a games room I'm not going to get this Trinitron up the stairs so I need and I, I was convinced oh, I, just died. I was convinced I needed a, a, a flat screen TV in my new games room love that but um, I think the first video that popped up on Google was Future Mat 5 talking about the B&O MX4000 and I thought yeah that's brilliant went on Gumtree and there were one for 40 quid. Fairly local. I think about an hour away. And uh, yeah, I went and bought it. Set it up. Took me about two hours to set it all up. Playing around with the old settings. Going into the service menu. And I was blown away. I'd, I'd never realised uh, the Mega Drive could look so nice. Especially playing through RGB and at 60 hertz. Full screen, full speed. Playing on a CRT. It, it just looked fantastic. And I've tried. I've tried my Mega Drive downstairs. My Sony 42, 47 inch, whatever it is. LED TV. And it, yeah, it looks alright. It looks crisp. It looks sharp. No, it just doesn't do it for me. There's something about a CRT. It just gives... Um, a feel of nostalgia, a warmth, a glow. Yeah. What do you guys think? Ah, oh, Dave's mentioning the Frame Meister. LFC game, I have a 20 inch Toshiba TRT. Which used to be the family TV before they switched to HT. HD? So many abbreviations here. Yeah, oh, just died. Do you die when you fall off? I don't know. Yeah, it's a. Bit of a grey area. I think we're going to approach this in a TNT stream. Now we've talked about it already. What setup do you use for your retro gaming? I mean, some people they use um, you know like a modern gaming. Bloody hell! They use a LCD screen because they've got modern consoles, which is fair enough. Um, 
I mean, I know one person who's got a twin set up. He's still watching. He's got his uh, retro corner, he's got his modern corner. Now, that's all very well if you've got the space. And I can totally understand if you've not got the space, uh, your other half is not that impressed with having a, an old TV sign the corner to play on your Mega Drive. I can understand all that. So as I'm very lucky to have a little <laughs> shaking like mad when I'm bashing these buttons, it's like resting on my arm. Yeah, I'm very lucky to have a, a games room and I can have all this set up permanently. And, um, it's weird because I, when I close the hatch up to the loft, kicking my ass, that's it. You wouldn't know anything were up here. It's weird. Um, the modern TV downstairs. You wouldn't know there were any retro games consoles up here. It's, it's weird. But it's good, it's nice. It's nice to come up here. I've always said it, it's like a portal to 1992. For me. And, uh, yeah. But you really could talk about, you know, this all day. Retro gaming is whatever you want to make it. If you're not bothered about how the picture looks, if you're not bothered about what you play on, then fair enough. If you just enjoy playing the games, fair enough. I don't want to describe myself as a purist. Definitely. Oh, well, yeah. But uh, having the internet has made me aware of... I mean, I used to play the Mega Drive with an RF cable. So I've got no need to do it. I can't say, I can't say anything, really. You're only in about 2011. I was off work for three months with a broken foot. I had some time on my hands. That's when I got into watching YouTube. And um, I bought myself I bought myself this Mega Drive, in fact. I didn't want to modify my original one. I bought myself this one. Got myself an RGB. It's kicking my ass. Got myself an Take that. Got myself an RGB SCART cable. That's where it all started. That is where it all started. LC game of my game from used to be the dining room. We barely used the dining room anyway, so it was a good idea good idea for me to do that. Yeah. Space is why I got rid of everything. Yeah, yeah. I got to see our TV. Yeah. Had to make a room. Yeah, they are big, big old TVs. Unless you get like a BNL. Keep saying about I keep mentioning BNL. I'm not on commission by the way. RF shudders. I remember having to use an RF back in the day. Well, you say that, Dave, but I mean, I cannot remember. I've got very fond memories of me playing games via RF, and I cannot remember it looking that bad. I think as a kid, you just weren't bothered. You just you were more bothered about just playing the games. And you probably weren't aware that RGB existed. So it didn't really bother you, did it? And, um, you know, you're quite happy to play on your little TV in your, in your bedroom. He, he does wonder who I'm talking to, Mark. Yeah, yeah, he does. He just looks at me gone out. He really does. So we had to tune in my mate's Amiga 500 the, the other day. Oh, yeah, I bet that was an experience. Now, retro gaming for me, it's, it's all about nostalgia. Well, mostly. I love playing games. I love finding new old games to play. Especially when you guys give me some picks. You know, and if anyone wants to pick three games, I will play them badly. Let me know. You're probably better off letting me know on um, Twitter. I'm on there, it's, I'm at, at Gruss underscore Newton, or I'm on Facebook as Gruss Newton. Just let me know on there, send it through a private message. 
And I'll have a go at playing your free, your free games. If you can get them working, I mean... Uh, this should have been Double Dragon. For Ben. Mongoose on a unicycle. It just didn't work. We were ruined with 50 Hertz. We wore, Dave. We wore. So ruined. I mean, if you look. I mean, that's another subject, isn't it? 50 and 60 Hertz. But then again, in our defence, we did have. We did have RGB. The Americans never had that. Never had that. Compass shite. What are doing here? I'll put it floor. I mean, I know they upgraded to uh, S video. But, um, yeah. RGB. It's a French thing, isn't it? RGB. Did it come from France? Sure, it came from France. RGB. I'm just going to walk away. Walking away. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could just talk about uh, 50 hertz, 60 hertz, what setup you use. All day long. So much you can say. End of day, it's, it's how you want to play it. And if you enjoy it, that's fine. What are they doing on the floor here? Come on, stand up. Face me like a woman. Is this uneasy? Because I died a few times. Oh, I think I'm on my last life. Tell you what, though, I'm quite enjoying this. Take that. Take that. I'm going to walk away from her. And then she whoops you. Scott came from France, and yes, RGB was a big part of the Scott connector. Yeah, I, re I remember it, something coming from France. But, um, yeah, Americans really missed out on RGB and, and Scott in general. So that's what I'm talking about when we're talking about RGB. Yeah, I mean this is this is in uh, 50 hertz. Can probably tell the black borders, which didn't look too bad because it, it kind of went with the game. But if I know I keep mentioning it, but if you, if you play Sonic 2 with the blue borders, top and bottom, oh god, it looks horrible, horrible, it really did. And the music, super slow music, the game itself just plays so much better in 60 years. I mean, Sega of Japan built the game to run at 60 hertz so making it run at 50 it was just, yeah, yeah, just offensive so if you've got a CRT if you've got a Mega Drive get yourself an RGB SCART cable if you've not got one if you've got a 50 hertz mega drive, get it modified or buy yourself a mega drive, cheapest chips with a 60 hertz switch on or whatever, and play Sonic 2. RGB 60 hertz. I tell you now, you cannot beat it. You cannot beat it. Play so. Oh, not in again. Come on. Right. And does that. Bang! There we go. Yes. Yes. I'm actually pushing him off the screen. Is he dead? Don't know, I'm just listening to the sound effects. Those borders don't bother me. I'm used to them. Yeah, I mean, I was used to them back in the day. I think once you play 60 hertz, you kind of get spoiled. Oh, 
Oh, we're full health there. Full health, Frank. Get up. Careful. I know. I know. You're tired, aren't you? You're tired. Oh, cheap shot there. So hopefully you guys have uh, enjoyed this stream. Won't go on for much longer. It is 10 o'clock. Oh no, I think we're gonna die. Oh, I think we're gonna die. Have we continued or, or what? I don't know. I think we have continued. I'll just get to the end of this level and then we'll call it a night. So I'm going to have to read all your comments back after this because uh, I'm missing so much. Johnny Hart, gameplay was awesome back in the day. It was, Johnny. Yeah, I always remember at school saying to uh, some of my friends, not all about the graphics, you know. Gameplay. Which is true. Which is true. You know from Jim, stunning game. Can't play it for shit. Lion King. Stunning game. Super hard. Yes. Look at that. Look at pro. Can I throw that knife? I can indeed. Bloody fire starter. Tag team me there, tag team me. Oh dear. Bang! Bang! Double bang! You like that, Frankie? He's going down, he's going down. Right, this has got to be boss. What? I'm dead already? Gio. 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 I'm going to use my special. We're special. Not working. I'm sure, I've got a special there. I don't think I'm going to make it back to the end of this level. Got them on the ropes. They're on the ropes. Are they dead? One's dead. One's dead. Thanks. What are you doing? Come on. Oh, lost a little bit of health. Is she dead? There we go. Round five. Round five clear. I don't know if I can save them. Um, Master System games. I think I can. Round six. How many stages? How many stages are there to uh, Streets of Rage on the Master System? Can anyone let me know? Imagine seven. Go on. Boom. Yes. So you do it. Finish him off with a flying kick. Yeah, I really need a Master System game. Um, controller as well. Streets of Rage, eight stages. What, what am I on? Six. This heavy drive has got a save function, but I don't know 
how you work uh, you work it with the uh, the master system. The Mega Drive is pressed down an A. It's not working. Oh, eight stages on the Ma Mega Drive version. I'm not sure on the master system. I imagine it'll be the same, won't it? Oh, Jesus. That's not good. That's good, but I'm always getting out. Take that. We should stand up. Bang. Oh, so you get it's the same, yeah. Go on, come on, stand up, love, stand up. Bang. He was kneeling down. That's just obviously cheating. Empty friend. Obviously cheating. What are you looking at? Looking through a window. Come on. God. I think some beating. He's down. I always used to say uh, these have been on curry. Safe states on my system. Oh dear. Right then, I think uh, I think I'm going to leave it there. Little Frank is getting a bit restless. Uh, enjoyed that. Enjoyed that. Can't beat a bit of uh, eight bit Sega, can you? So I just have a quick look through the. Uh, pop you down a minute, Frankie. Quick look through the comments. We've been very busy, very busy indeed. Uh, uh, Dave, I've been watching Gross for ages too. True Marvelous, Sean, I just emulate the retro stuff now. Super Quintendo, signing to say hi, really do enjoy your life, Pedros. Hi, evening, Craig. Evening. They do look better in CRT. Totally agree, but I have to say, the XRGB Frame Master, <laughs> excuse me, makes my retro system <laughs> look fantastic. And a 51 inch plasma. Something I've not, not dabbled with. Oh no, I don't do 16 mm 4 4 3 all the way. Carry has to do an under 50. I don't buy my don't buy. Don't sorry, I don't really buy retro games anymore. The price has got silly, but I've got most of what I wanted before that. Uh, you gamer, yeah, rip that out. Yeah, space. That game in heaven and game in hell, just remember. Oh, Stu, we should do it. We should do. Okay. I did send you a message about that, actually. I don't know if you got that. Um, yeah. Get in touch, mate, through uh, Facebook. We'll sort that out. Uh, can't be shy. Yeah, that's right. Can't be shy. True Marvelous. Now they people like magpies. Shiny graphics this is good when the game is shit. Yeah. DLC. I can't even begin to talk about modding games. Rushed. Yeah, LFC gamer, rush games. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about with the Ridge Racer here. I 
can't play the same with an iPhone. iPhones are too expensive. Again, iPhones, Android. I mean, I, I film everything. Everything you see on my YouTube channel is done via an iPhone. Whether it be an iPhone 5, my old one, or an iPhone 6S, I do everything. I film it, I edit it, I upload it. The only time I use my laptop, which I've recently bought, is for uh, these streams. I see no one playing the Vita on a train. No, you don't. I do enjoy though playing uh, Sonic 2 iOS. Completed it. And uh, CD, Sonic CD on iOS. On the, the PlayStation, uh, PlayStation, iPad and phone. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Even with the uh, the touch touch controls. So anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it there. So make sure you check out Mongoose on a unicycle. That's Ben. Uh, description a link in the description below. Make sure you check out uh, TNT, the Northern Tubers. Um, just Google that. I should, I'll probably put a link below to the Northern Tubers. Um, I'm on Twitter, Gruss, sorry, at Gruss underscore Newton. I'm on Facebook, Gruss Newton. And uh, obviously I'm on here. So don't forget to like, comment. Can't really comment, can you? Subscribe. I'm sure if you're watching me, you've already subscribed. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for uh, keeping yourselves busy as I've been playing really bad games. Well, not, well, I've been playing really badly, I'd say. Um, this computer is, I don't know what he's doing. So, anyway, I'll see you on another. GRS, and if anyone wants to pick the next three games I attempt to get working, then uh, let me know. Let me know on social media um, and all that jazz. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much. And me and Frank, Frank's, I don't know where he's gone, he's disappeared. Oh, he's in his dressing gown again. I'll see you again next time. Cheers. See you later. Bye.